Welcome back. One man's popular and profitable Dallas business could get shut down by the city. This is despite support from the city councilman who welcomed that business to his district. J.D. Miles investigating tonight why the city should try and shut down a private business. Looking around this room, you can't deny that there's a strong demand among North Texas poker players for a legal place to play. But only months after the city said yes to poker rooms like this, it's mysteriously revoking permits. Stephen Gribben is among four to 500 people a day who buy chips and play Hold'em at Texas Card House. And I'm retired and I like playing cards. It keeps my head going, it keeps me aware. The Westlake resident and others here no longer have to find underground and often illegal places to play poker. It's just like any other social club in America. We spent about two and a half years uh, trying to find a location that we could open into the city, you know, approved of. Ryan Crow is one of the owners who says he endured long meetings with the city in 2020 before it ultimately approved his permit to operate in this strip mall off Harry Hines in an industrial part of Northwest Dallas. But the owners recently received a letter revoking their permit for, quote, keeping a gambling place. That's despite the fact the house doesn't take a cut from each hand, which would be illegal gambling. Instead, players pay $13 an hour to sit at a table. Some of the games are even live streamed. I think everyone's in a little bit of disbelief. The city council member who represents the neighborhood supports Texas Card House. Um, I think it's unfair that all of a sudden um, all of the COs for these card rooms have been um, revoked. Um, unfortunately, our um, the city attorney has decided to change the um, idea of what he believes constitutes the card rules according to the law. Owners of the business plan to appeal the decision and say about 215 people will lose their jobs if Texas Card House shuts down, while the players, they say, will lose a safe place to find a game. They now are not playing in rooms where there are drugs, half naked people walking around, um, you know, alcohol. I think it's a mistake, but this is guys playing against each other. Now, there are a few other poker rooms in the city of Dallas. We're still trying to find out if their certificates of occupancy have also been revoked. We did not get a response from the city attorney's office. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.